Welcome all at SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is SST Edupedia. I am Assistant Professor Vijayta Narang. Today we will see the topic of web programming for class FIIT semester 2. Our topic is internet and a world wide web. What is internet? Nowadays all are using the internet in your mobile phone, laptop, PC, computers, each and every device have connected with some internet connection Wi-Fi, mobile SIM cards, internet connection is there worldwide system is there it is a wide range of uh, internet this is the uh, all computers over the all the world see the diagram it is there in the internet it is you can communicate with uh, by the mobile on your laptop on your server on your printer you can have a connection with your many computers via the internet next is application of internet some are the application of internet are as follows first is email next is telnet third is FTP fourth is e-commerce fifth is e-business sixth is video conferring all we look in one by one in a detail First one is the email which is nothing but an electronic mail. Nowadays we all are aware about the email. This is a mail like if you have a mail id. If you want to send something on an email. You just have to add the file, write the name and a subject to the person you can send via the email. It is uh, invented in 1972 by Ray Tomlinson. Sir invented this email features for use to send the biggest file in via the internet. Email can be easily used by the children also by the adult person also. It gives more information and you can send more video, audio, your PDF, any file on the email. In email there is a three main components one is envelope second is header third is body in envelope there is a sim simple protocol is there simple message you can write then the header you have to mention what for this email is to whom you are sending and what you are sending to the person next is message body in that you have to actual read and write the about the email what is there in the email what is for the email and what is the use for that mail then you can send the mail to the person next application is telnet telnet nothing but the internet protocol you can see in the lab like uh, many computers are there they are connected by one server system can be using connected by the telnet Telnet is a protocol we can use for a server to connect all the computer in a one server for your better performance. From one computer internet you can use many internet in a many devices. See the diagram. In that there are the two types Telnet client and Telnet server. Client is nothing but many computer are connected via the internet and on a server there is a one main PC which is connected over the all the client to get the data and send the data. In between there is the internet. See the diagram. In that, that is a more useful because if you do not have an internet connection, you cannot connect with a client side or a server side without internet. So internet is a must for your connection between client and the server. In detail there is a one diagram telnet client and use the TCP protocol then there is a telnet server then telnet server is divided in a three parts one is the actual multi-user interface second is a user third is a control interface access control in the telnet network protocol used for bi-directional text oriented communication means what if you are sending a data on a server then data will be get by the servers that data will be access controlled by the server then you will get your output on your client side 
then is a user application the tenant user virtual terminal for connecting a remote your client side to the server side to connect with each and every computer via the internet next is the server controller for a local computer uses for your home uses for your business uses you just have one pc on server side you just have to log in one pc if you have a personal computer server control is there for one pc directly client computer is connected to a server but if you are having a many pc like your college lab is connected with a one server and a one printer so you have to connect it via the internet if connection of internet it is not there then that will be create a problem so internet is must for your connection between server and a client next is ftp which is file transfer protocol in file transfer protocol there is a two types see the diagrams and that active ftp and a passive ftp what is the active file transfer protocol and what is the passive file protocol as the name says active you will get all the information actively on the client side when you transfer the file on via the internet through the client or through some application like email or whatever you are using so you have to need to be active on your client side then if you are transferring the file from client to a server side there should be a meaning to send that data you cannot send without your subject or mail you can ignore that but you have to mention some formal message in that then you can send the email to the person for the file transfer protocol you can anonymous you can remote the ftp then you can secure the ftp on a passive ftp if you don't have a connection like you just send the file server will be there then the server will access that data if some person is not connected with the net then that file will be in a hold it is there in a sent box but it will get after you start your internet as get you are internet you will get the email and you can access that data that is a passive one like active you have a active internet passive you don't have a that time of internet but after you are getting the internet you can access your email from that you can access any one email messages or a files next is e-commerce e-commerce what is the e-commerce that is electronic commerce that is actually buying and selling goods on online applications nowadays each and every person is using a electronic commerce each and every person doing a buying a selling product online it is organized in a 1980 the use of edi grew in a 1990 by ebay some applications are there you can sell the product you can buy the product you can do a business on the internet nowadays after covid all are using the e-commerce businesses all are having the some application some web pages some websites for selling their goods or for client for customer there is a more number of application you can buy the product on the internet for that you must have the internet connection processing electronic data interchange automated data social media marketing target advertising etc you have to do for e-commerce business if you start some e-commerce website then you have to advertise that after that social media marketing you have to do for marketing for getting the more customers for getting a more replies for increasing your views or demanding of the product you have to market your products next is e business in e business there is a e commerce for e commerce you have a three types of business business to consumer business to business and business to government business to consumer we will look in that some wholesale person is there or a retail person is there that will sell the product on the internet or on the traditional market
so if you are saying buying a product or selling a product some traditional market is there you can go and buy the product on the internet also and the on the traditional wholesale person are there they will give the product to the customers via the internet also or via the traditional market also then is the business to business like wholesale is a one brand then that wholesale person will sell the product to the retailer shops then retailer will buy that product and sales to the customers next is business to government in that some business organizations are there it will only sell the product to the government then government buy that product after that government will give to the customers like uh, farmers farmers doing our farming then that biz, uh, food will be given to the government then government will supply to the persons customers and the whole world next is e business e business is a electronic business is the application information and a communication technology which is ict in the diagram c first you have to e promit then the online stores online marketing online communication and online companies there are many companies there are many things on the internet on a business you have to sell and buy the product via the internet on that some applications you can use with the internet without internet you cannot use the application nowadays misho is running more on a business in that you can add the your commission and you have to just market that product if some person is buy that product by your link then you will get some commission amount from that this is the e business e business may take use of email also voice mail also system generated and messaging next is video conferencing video conferencing all are doing a video conference on a whatsapp call instagram call zoom meeting more and more applications are there you can video call on the person person is sitting on anywhere in any place in the any type in the any country you can get and you can communicate with a person via the internet you just have to connect some application to the person and then you can access that and transmit and receive audio and video by the person Thank you.